I've been inside some of the most incredible mansions in LA, but this 31,000 square foot behemoth in Bel Air is one of the most outrageous homes I've ever been invited to see. Yes, that's a 12 foot waterfall cascading into the infinity pool and a giant outdoor gym on the roof. This is the home of the infamous Instagrammer, Dan Bilzerian. To his 27 million followers, he's known as the king of Instagram. He started his account in the early days of the platform, portraying a raunchier and more over the top lifestyle than Hugh Hefner. And that made him very popular. He reportedly paid a mind boggling $65 million for this mega mansion and he invited me over to check it out. I'm dying to see this place and find out how a guy who appears to party for a living can afford it all. Dan, how are you? Good, how you doing? This house is a joke, man, it's too big. <laughs> it's ridiculous. That's what we were shooting for. What is that? It's uh, done by a famous glass blower. He does like smokable art. It's covered in goat heads, designed to look like the logo of his cannabis company. Why don't you show me this house? Cool, man. Movie theater? This is a bowling alley here. You never know what you're gonna get. Today it's bowling and heels. Oh, oh, look at that. There it is. It's just another day in Dan's house, That's right? right. Yeah. Next to his two-lane bowling alley is Dan's nine-car garage. His $2 million vintage Shelby Cobra is on display, spinning like a work of art. Now we head upstairs to check out the rest of the house. All right, Dan, what do we have here? We've got a dining room, got some living rooms. And why would anybody need two dining rooms? There's actually three. That's the one I normally do breakfast at, and then this is a, more like a big group, and then you got the formal deal there. How many bars? We've got seven bars. And he uses all of them. This crazy chicken had 3,000 people at his last party. You know, this is where the DJs or performers set up. What's the biggest performer you've ever had in here? Cardi B, Tyga, Marshmallow. Yeah, there's a lot. Yeah, if you're gonna spend a million bucks on a party and somebody blows up the sofa, who cares, right? Yeah, <laughs> negligible. <laughs> <laughs> Can you write any of this off? Because it's really promoting your brand and your lifestyle. I mean, I have to talk to my accountant about all of it. I don't know. <laughs> Dan says he made 50 million bucks playing high stakes poker. So when I spot his car table, that seems like a perfect place to ask Dan how he can afford this lifestyle most people only dream of. Dan, is poker your primary income now or have you diversified? Um, actually, I don't even really play poker anymore. I got to a point where if I won, I was happy, but I didn't really care that much. And if I lost, I was like really irritated. You know, it was time to move on to something else. Sounds like you matured as an entrepreneur. You wanted to mitigate risk. You wanted to pursue something where you added value. Yeah, I'm just getting tired of getting kicked in the nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get back to the 26 million followers, because in today's world, that's an extremely valuable asset. Most people would try to monetize that, and it sounds like you're attempting to do that. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a crazy thing. Just on one week in Instagram, I reached almost a half a billion people. I think it was like 446 million people. So what do you want to do with that? Sell a lot of cannabis. <laughs> so let's get into that. Our main focus right now is on the CBD pens, and we're doing um, THC in the states that are legal for those pens. Dan's betting big that recreational marijuana will soon be legal in every state, and he hopes he can convert his loyal Insta followers into loyal Ignite users. I think it's going to be the first real global cannabis brand. But that little pen is nothing compared to the collection of pipes he displays in his 5,600 square foot master suite. This is something very few visitors ever get to see. So Dan, this is a closet off a bedroom. It looks like maybe her closet. It was a hers, it was my cat, <laughs> my female cat. Um, but now it's, uh, it's for pipes. How much do these cost? I mean, this one here would probably be like 30,000. You know, Dan, you can get a really nice watch for $30,000. And if this fell on the floor, it'd be worthless. You know, if I lost, I don't know, hundreds of thousands or a million dollars gambling, it probably wouldn't bother me too much, but if I broke one of these, it would be painful. Dan's clearly passionate about his brand, but if you think his ultimate goal is merely cornering the market on legalized marijuana, you're wrong. Where do you want to be in 20 years? The goal is to make a couple billion dollars in cannabis, give a bunch of it away, do some charity, spend more time surfing in Hawaii, and then I want to be president. You want to be president of the United States? Yeah, I think I can do it. Will Dan really be able to parlay his 27 million Instagram followers into both a billion dollar cannabis company 
and the White House? Or are those just pipe dreams that will go up in smoke? Who knows? But one thing's for sure. Watching him try will be very entertaining.